Welcome to my series of videos on mathematics for economists. We are still computing eigenvalues and eigenvectors. The next matrix I want to show you is given by the rows 5, 0, minus 2, 2, 3, minus 2, 0, 0, 3. And we're going to see that this is a matrix where there is a repeated eigenvalue. That is one of the eigenvalues occurs twice. Uh, so in order to compute the eigenvalues, we're evaluating again the determinant of m2 minus lambda times the identity. So we're subtracting the lambda on the main diagonal. 3 minus lambda minus 2, 0, 0, 3 minus lambda. And of course, we're looking again for a good row or a good column to expand our determinant along and so the third column here uh, the third row is a, is a good one because it only has one non-zero entry now remember the first coefficient gets a plus the second a minus the third a plus again so we get three minus lambda times the determinant of the matrix that results from deleting the third row and the third column and so that would be the determinant of the submatrix here. And that is 5 minus lambda times 3 minus lambda minus 2 times 0, which is just 0. So I get, again, a characteristic polynomial that is already given in its linear factors. And I also see that I have a double root, lambda 1 and 2 is equal to 3, and lambda 3 is equal to 5. Now, how do I calculate the eigenvectors in this case? I proceed as usual, so I go ahead and solve the system of equations m2 minus 3 times identity times v equal to 0, 0, 0. And the solution exists because 3 is a root of the characteristic polynomial, so there's a non-trivial v, one that does not consist of all zeros, that solves this system of equations. And so I subtract 3 on the main diagonal. 5 minus 3 is 2, 0, minus 2, 2, 3 minus 3 is 0, minus 2, 0, 0, 3 minus 3 is 0. And obviously, the first two rows here contain the same information. So I can just divide by 2 and then subtract 1 from the other. And I get 1, 0, minus 1, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. What does this say? This says that x1 minus x3 is equal to 0, or that x1 is equal to x3. So my first eigenvector is going to be uh, 1, 0, and 1, because x1 and x3 must be the same. And 2, well, 2 can be either 0, or actually it can be anything it likes, because all these 0 coefficients are going to set it equal to 0. So I get a second one right away, which is linearly independent of the first one, which is 0, 1, 0. Huh? You can convince yourself, and it's easy to see, that obviously these two vectors... Uh, I'm going to solve this system of equations, and so I have two eigenvectors that correspond to the eigenvalue 3. So the eigenspace of the eigenvalue 3 is the linear span of v1 and v2, as given here. And this means that the dimension of this eigenspace is equal to 2. Now. The multiplicity of the root and the characteristic polynomial is called the algebraic multiplicity of this eigenvalue. And the dimension of the eigenspace is called the geometric multiplicity of this eigenvalue. Now the two are the same. Geometric equals algebraic multiplicity, then the double eigenvalue comes with two eigenvectors, and so I just need to find the third one, 
Let's do this right away. Lambda th 3 equal to 5. I have to solve the system m2 minus 5 times the identity times v is equal to 0, 0, 0. So I subtract 5 on the main diagonal. 5 minus 5 is 0, 0, 0. Excuse me. Minus 2. Minus 2. Uh, 2. 3 minus 0 is minus 2 and minus 2 and 0, 0 and 3 minus 5 is minus 2. 0, 0, 0. Obviously again first and third row contain the same information. I can subtract them from each other. I can also subtract them from the from the second row and by dividing by minus 2 here I can write the system as 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, minus 2 and 0. Yeah, if I subtract this guy here, but then I can also right away divide by 2 and I get 1, minus 1, 0, 0. Here if I subtract this one I get 0, 0, 0, 0. What does this say? This says x3 is equal to 0 and this says that x1 minus x2 is equal to 0 or x1 is equal to x2. And so my third eigenvector is x1 is equal to x2, so 1, 1, 0. So I get my matrix P for my eigenvalue decomposition as the first two eigenvectors 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and the third one, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. This is my matrix P. My eigenvalue decompositions is M2 is P lambda P inverse, where lambda is the diagonal with the eigenvalues on the diagonal, and now I have the repeated eigenvalue equal to 3, right? So I need to determine P inverse longhand. I write an identity on the right hand side and row reduce until I have an identity on the left hand side. So first off I subtract the first row from the second. The first row is the pivot, nothing changes here. The second is not involved in the operation. I subtract from the third, sorry. So 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 1 is minus 1, 0 minus 1 is minus 1, 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1. Second column looks already good. I just have to clean out the third column here on the left hand side. Um, I am going to add the third row to the first. 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus minus 1, 0. That's what I wanted. 1 plus minus 1, 0. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 1, 1. Now I'm going to add the third row to the second. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus minus 1, 0. 0 plus minus 1, minus 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 1, 1. Now I'm going to multiply the third row by minus 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, minus 1. And I have my candidate for P inverse modulo calculation errors. Let's check. P inverse times P must equal the identity 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 minus 1 times p. p was here. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 0. Okay. 0 times 1 plus 0 times 0 plus 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times 0 plus 0 times 1 plus 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 plus 0 times 1 plus 1 times 0 is 0. 
and so on. Minus 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1 times 0, plus 1 times 1 is 0. Minus 1 times 0, plus 1 times 1, plus 1 times 0 is 1. Minus 1 times 1, plus 1 times 1, plus 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1, plus 0 times 0, plus minus 1 times 1 is 0. 1 times 0, plus 0 times 1, plus minus 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 plus 0 times 1 plus minus 1 times 0 is 1. Check. Works out. So I have found my eigenvalue decomposition of the matrix M2 S P lambda P inverse S 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 times the diagonal that has 3, 3, and 5 on the diagonal, times p inver inverse, which we found to be 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, minus 1. And you can convince yourself at home by matrix multiplication in this fashion that this is indeed the given matrix 5, 0, minus 2, 2, 3, minus 2, 0, 0, 3. That was the second case.